find the mean division about the mean for the following data we have marks obtained and number of students so 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and so on number of students are 2 3 8 14 8 3 and 2 so pause the video try this on your own find the mean deviation about the mean for this data okay let's do this together we have to find the mean deviation about the mean so the first job for us is to figure out what the mean is now this is not a discrete data this is a continuous data we have classes we have seven classes each have a size of 10 and there is a slightly different approach to finding the mean in these cases before we find the mean let's first figure out how many students we have so let's add all the frequencies 2 plus 3 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 4 is 27 8 35 338 and 240 so in total we have 40 students n which is the sum of all the frequencies that's going to be 40 now for each class let's figure out their midpoint let's have these midpoints represent these classes so for 10 to 20 the midpoint is going to be 15 for 20 to 30 the midpoint is 25 then we have 35 45 55 65 and 75 basically we are assuming that all of these 14 students have scored 45 marks all of these eight students have scored 35 marks we have no way of figuring out what these students have actually scored what this data is telling us is that these eight values are between 30 and 40. so this is the approach that we use when we have our data in classes so now that we have our midpoints we can treat this as a discrete data we have 15 appearing twice 25 appearing three times 35 appearing eight times and so on now let's figure out the mean for that we find fi xi multiply 15 by 2 that's 30 25 by 3 that's 75 35 by 8 that's going to be 70 times 4 that's 280 45 by 14 that's 90 times 7 that's 630 55 by 8 that's 110 times 4 that's 440 65 by 3 that's 180 plus 15 that's 195 75 by 2 that's going to be 150 so now we have all of these values fi times xi if we add all of them up we'll get sum of all the values and then we divide that with 40 to get the mean so let's add all of these up so we have 3 plus 7 that's 10 10 plus 28 that's 38 38 plus 63 that's going to be 71 101 plus 44 is 145 plus 19 is 163 64 164 plus 15 is going to be 179 plus 5 and plus 5 that's 180 so that's 1800 so fi xi if we add all of this up sigma fi xi that's 1800 let's write that as well sigma fi xi for all of these is 1800 now our mean is sum of all of these values divided by total number of values so our mean is sigma fi xi divided by n that's going to be 1800 by 40 so 0 cancels out 180 by 4 that's 45 so our mean is 45 now that we have our mean we can figure out the deviations so mod of xi minus x bar for each of these let's figure out the distance between these values and our mean so 15 and 45 are 30 units apart 25 and 45 20 35 and 45 10 45 and 45 0 55 and 45 that's 10 65 and 45 that's 20 again 75 and 45 that's 30 so it's 30 20 10 0 10 20 30 but 30 is appearing two times and 0 is appearing 14 times so we have to take into account the frequencies as well so let's multiply this with their corresponding frequencies 30 times 2 that's going to be 60 20 times 3 that's again 60 10 times 8 is 80 0 times 14 is 0 10 times 8 is 80 20 times 3 that's 60 and 30 times 2 that's going to be 60 now let's add all of these up we have 60 times 4 that's 240 plus 80 times 2 that's 160 so 240 plus 160 that's going to be 400 so sum of fi mod of xi minus x bar that's 400 let's write that down as well sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar that's 400 now as a last step our mean deviation about the mean that's going to be this sum divided by total number of values that's 40 so mean division about the mean that's 1 by n of sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar that's 1 by 40 of 400 that's going to be 10 so our mean division about the mean for this data is 
10. Let's summarize the steps. To find the mean deviation about the mean for group data which is continuous, which is not discrete, we first find the sum of product of midpoints of classes with their respective frequencies. We take the midpoints as the representatives of those classes. So this is sigma fi xi. Once we have this, we figure out the mean. So that's 1 by n of sigma fi xi. n is the sum of all the frequencies. Once we have the mean, we figure out the deviations. We find the deviations of midpoints of classes from the mean and take their absolute values. That's mod of xi minus x bar. Once we have these, we multiply them with their respective frequencies and then add all of this up. That's sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar. Once we have this sum, we divide it by n to get the mean deviation about the mean. That's 1 by n sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar.